and now throttle is fully open so uh, so this is guys uh, top speed uh, of the CB 500 X we are going slightly up the hill not a big incline but uh, significant I can feel I need to add a bit more power open throttle a little bit more to compensate and now we'll try to overtake this truck when the opportunity arise and let's see full throttle oh. yeah not a problem even though it's a slightly inclined it's not a problem to overtake truck of this size and guys we are more than a halfway through our journey we're enjoying uh, so far there's absolutely no critical problems with Honda everything as expected so full throttle guys fifth gear 6000 rpms I can feel totally comfortably traveling on the speeds between 100 and 120 kilometers per hour I'm not trying to race at all I'm just uh, trying to ride normally and bike is feeling totally planted and secure on these speeds as I'm going through these corners with a little bit of higher speed I'll say one thing braking is in the boundaries of normal I do need to press the brake a little bit higher but that's uh, understandable and expected You can see that bike is not uh, lacking any power, it goes just fine. I know that's a concern uh, for many of you. I'll tell you honestly, unbelievable what, the, what they've managed to pull out of uh, 500cc. And. Uh, there's a police over there you need to slow down while we are riding slowly I just want to say one thing uh, you can see I'm not sure case camera picking up but you can see here uh, I'm using an, one application that I'm gonna make a separate video about it's very good and I use it always it just adds a peace of mind to my rides that's all what I'm gonna say right now but what I wanted to say is my dash is showing now in a range of 72 73 kilometers per hour this is showing 70 kilometers per hour because it's using GPS to get the speed on the speeds above uh, 100 kilometers per hour it's a uh, maybe five six kilometers per hour difference between what dash is showing and what uh, GPS uh, is measuring so on a speed about, about 120 kilometers per hour it's around maybe seven kilometers per hour difference so the dash is showing wrongly maybe five to seven kilometers per hour on a higher speeds now would you take that into consideration up to you i'm just saying uh, difference that i that i'm seeing between uh, gps measurements and the dash what the dash is showing guys we want to report quickly so uh, we are uh, more than halfway through our journey and we want to report our findings uh, about how CB500X handles pylon and uh, additional luggage so uh, let's talk to the Leon Leon what do you say how are you feeling after what like a 400 kilometers or so uh, very good very good uh it's very nice to ride on a bike, but my back hurts a bit, so maybe you need to stop like every hour. 
on the journey. Yeah. So every hour we would uh, we would we, we are stopping every hour to kind of rest our butts a little bit. Uh, I do have a sheepskin on uh, uh, on my seat, but it's still a hard seat, so we can feel uh, a little bit of uh, pain in the in, in the butt. But uh, rest than that. It's good. It's good, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so I think that this is so far our biggest uh, problem uh, that we need to stop every an hour or so. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now we are continuing towards north. We're gonna have a lunch somewhere and uh, talk to you all. Uh, Okay guys, this was a lovely lunch and now we are continuing at final uh, stage of our journey. We have uh, around uh, 200 kilometers to go. So far so good. Things are uh, in order, everything is as planned. Uh, CB500X is uh, acting normally and uh, besides uh, fuel consumption uh, no unusual uh, uh, behavior from the bike uh, comfort wise uh, bike is uh, very good uh, only thing is uh, seat is a little bit harder and uh, we need to stop every an hour or so other than that everything is okay You can see guys, uh, CB500X is easy to handle even with the pillion and uh, luggage behind, no issues. So guys, just a quick update, we are now stopping uh, every 50 kilometers or so, seat is very hard, we are feeling good, but you know, uh, we are feeling also the kilometers, I'll just check with uh, Leon, so, so Leon, what's the situation? It's good, but my butt is hurting. Butt is hurting, but it's good? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool, are you tired? Okay, let's jump on a bike guys and uh, as you can see bike is fully loaded All side bags and top box everything is fully loaded. All right Final leg of our journey. We have a uh, what like a 70. 70 kilometers to go Maybe a little more than an hour, right? All right, let's go Next uh, on our journey is a short uh, stretch of motorway, maybe 40 kilometers of motorway. So we're gonna check uh, how CB500X is behaving uh, on motorway with the pillion and the luggage, of course. Let's go.
you can see how bike is delivering linearly power so I'm at the moment on a hundred and uh, 37, 38, 39, 140 kilometers per hour. If I open more throttle back, will go more. So it's not like it's a uh, throttle is fully open. I still have a room, a little bit of uh, play on the throttle. I can hear an engine uh, pretty loudly, but. Uh, that's understandable because it's uh, at the moment on 7000 rpms 150 and now throttle is fully open so uh, we can say with the pillion and the luggage uh, maybe 10 kilos of luggage it will be around top speed 150 kilometers per hour Keeping throttle fully open in a sixth gear. And my GPS is, I'm looking at the GPS, GPS is showing 134, 33 kilometers per hour as a top speed. So this is guys uh, top speed uh, of the CB500X with uh, two male uh, adults uh, and uh, luggage. Hundred and fifty, hundred and forty-nine actually, and uh, GPS is showing hundred and forty-three. So GPS is showing steady hundred and forty-three. 150 pretty good for a 500 cc bike with a lot of weight on the back I'm still keeping a throttle fully open And guys, we are entering uh, Zagreb uh, around six hours, uh, or actually seven hours later, around 600 uh, kilometers. So I just want to conclude uh, this video with the uh, impressions of the Honda CB500X uh, with the pillion and, uh, as you saw, additional luggage. I have to say my impressions are fantastic. Not a single complaint about this bike.